Hi and welcome to this Excel quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to prevent a user from inputting values in a range that would cause that range to exceed a limit. So let's say that we want to place a limit of 20 on these three cells. So they should never add up to more than 20. Now to do this we're going to use what's called data validation and we're going to create a custom formula for that. It's pretty cool. So what we want to do is to go somewhere in the worksheet and first create our formula. Pretty simple here. We want to see what the sum of these cells will equal. And that's great. Now we've got a sum. It equals 18. But I need it to output true or false. So to do that, we use a simple comparison operator. If it is less than 20, I want it to output true. So less than 20. So what this is saying right now is, is the sum of these three cells less than 20? Yes or no, true or false. Right now it's true. Let's put in a high value here. Now it is false. So now we have what we need in order to do data validation. So before we do that, actually, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the ranges in here are absolute. So we select them and hit F4. That means that they will not change. Otherwise, when we apply them to the cells, the references will change for every cell. We don't want the references to change. We want it to apply to the same range of cells for each cell. That may seem a little confusing, but I'll explain it in a moment when we actually apply the data validation. So let's select our formula. We've made sure it works. We like it. Now we select the cells that we want to be controlled. And then we can go to the data tab and over here, tiny little button now, data validation. Or on the keyboard, it is Alt D L. On the settings tab, we go to allow custom formula, paste in the formula. Never create the formula in this little window right here. It's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> then we hit OK. Now let us test it out. 10, no problem. 5, no problem. How about 10 again? Bam, the value doesn't match your data validation restrictions. So we can retry. Let's try 4. Perfect. And it works for any one of these cells. Beautiful. Now when a user goes to, let's say, fill out a form where the form cannot exceed a certain value, you've made it so they literally cannot exceed that value. Now if you want to be a little bit more helpful for the error, we can select the cells again. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-D-L this time. Go to the Error Alerts tab and you can input a custom title and error message and even change the icon to one of three icons. So maybe you want to say must be less than 20 in this range of yellow cells. Put something helpful so the user does not get confused. And now when they go to do that, must be less than 20 in this range of yellow cells. Easy peasy. Now for the dollar signs that I mentioned you must put here, they went away because after I input them I hit the escape key. But we will go ahead and put them back in, those dollar signs. If I select this cell and go to data validation, settings, you'll see the formula right here. And this formula will appear for each one of these cells if I select them individually. If I did not have the dollar signs there, it would have adjusted the range to which this formula applied. Now, if you don't understand that, just go ahead and try and do what I did without the dollar signs and you'll quickly see how it has messed up. And remember, you don't only have to have it be a maximum, you could have it be a minimum by making it like this. So the sum of these cells must be greater than 20, or it must not equal 20, or it must equal 20, or must be greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So pretty much data validation is awesome, and this is how you're going to apply it to a range of cells to prevent a user's input from exceeding a limit.